Oh, yeah. We're live in the Pits of Metal Motor Chaos with your one and only. And with my boy, Tim from Methane Metal in Sweden. He's a vocalist and the bass player of the band. What's up, Tim? What's up? Gork? Gork? How do you say it? Gork. Gork, gork? <laughs> <laughs> Talking some Swedish. <laughs> and the Swedish meatballs. <laughs> And the meatballs. <laughs> Gotta have them. Not yours. The Swedish meatballs. Just just, just the ground beef meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Are they made out of ground beef or pork? Uh, beef, yeah. Beef, good. Because my mom makes these kind of meatballs with rice poking out of it. Okay. And parsley inside of it and green onions. And All she right. makes it within a big pot of, like, red tomato soup water. And it's like, it's kind of like, soup water. it's kind of like stew, you know, it's kind of like stew, meatball stew. Okay. She calls it kept it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I have German, Greek, and Assyrian in my background. Okay. Yeah, and I'm 10th generation from USA, so. No, I would think that's, that's probably the, it's, would that be the Assyrian part, the, the meatballs with the tomato soup? Yeah, that would be the starting part. For the Greek, she makes baklavas. Mm. Oh, yeah, and gyros. Baklava's nice. Hummus is a Syrian, just letting you know. Mm, hummus, yeah. Mm. Hummus, the Greek stole it. So, <coughs> now, let's talk about your band, Messing, for a bit. Now, tell me about sure. Messing, how to start, and where'd you get the name, and how long you guys been going? Right, um, yeah, I mean, we started in, in 2012, my brother moved out here from uh, from the states, and uh, just kind of said, "Hey, let's do a metal project," you know. And uh, I found my friend Jimmy. We were talking about it. Both Jimmy and I played death metal most of our lives, and it's just kind of like ah, we don't want to play death metal anymore. Let's play something with like, like a groove, you know, something you can bounce to, something yeah. something that feels good. Um, that's how it started. That's how it started a long time ago. Like Pantera. Yeah, kind of Pantera-ish, you know, a lot, a lot of southern southern groove influence in our music, definitely. Now, when was the last show you guys played? Yeah, our, our last show was uh, here at home with, with The Haunted. Really great show. Lots of people showed up, support, tell, it was awesome. Tell, tell me, how long has The Haunted been around? Do you know about The Haunted? Oh, God, they've been around for a long time. Nice. I'm not really sure when they started, but I mean, they've been they've been going at it for a while, you know. How many times you guys have played with them? Uh, we just played this one show with them here at home. Are they gonna and get you guys? Are they gonna get you guys to play with them again? Um, now nah, I don't know. They're they're out on tour here in Sweden for just a couple weeks, and we got the local gig. Um, before that, we were out in, down in Europe with uh, Nervosa and, and Warbringer. Yeah. Awesome shows, sold out shows down there. It's crazy. I remember I seen Nervosa once, and I seen Warbringer a couple times. I have interviewed both bands too. Yeah, they're great bands. Great, cool people. Great bands. Had a lot of fun. Believe it or not, I've had Destruction on my show too. Destruction, also. Yeah, and Roddy Christ awesome. Melkash. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love Roddy Christ Melkash. They're my favorites. Hmm. One's 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 like Arabic, and one's um, Greek. Right. Right. But, both yeah, Rotting Christ has been playing a lot this year. Oh yeah, they're pretty badass, man. Yeah. Now tell me, how, when did you start playing bass? Yeah, I started playing bass in in the, in the early '80s. I wanted to be be Nicky Six <laughs> when I was a little kid. <laughs> what was the first bass you had? Um, my first bass, I still have it. Actually, it's a uh, Ibanez X Destroyer. That see, I have the guitar model of that one. All right, but cool. the Les Paul knockoff look like in the 1980s. That's the one that got that got stolen from me back in April. Oh, oh shit! Motherfucker! Which like catch his ass? Which like catch his ass? His or her ass? Which like catch him playing with it? Mm. I'm gonna run off the stage, take it from him. <laughs> Seriously, I'll take my guitar back. You should do that. Kill yeah, him. that's what I'm gonna do. Anyways, um, do you guys have any future shows coming up? Or are you guys on break right now? Yeah, right now we're taking it. We're taking a little break and writing some stuff. Um, we have a, a, a full Swedish tour being booked right now for March next year. Uh-huh. Uh, working on a lot of trying to get some festivals and 
here in Europe, you know, for next year. But right now we're just kind of we're taking it easy, right, writing stuff. We're probably going to go in and demo some new songs and for the next album and take it from there. That's cool. Now, how many EPs you guys got have under your belt right now? Videos. EPs. 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 Yeah. Um. Two. We put out an EP in uh, 2014 called Southern Metal and an EP in 2016, maybe, called uh, Spit on Your Grave. Didn't you guys just release a full, a full album? Right, and this year we released our, our debut album. So What's it called? On uh, Dark Star, Sony Dark Star Records. Uh, the Devil's Own, the album's called. Devil's Own? I want one. Yeah, you should have one. Okay. Now, how'd you guys come up with a band name, Methane? Yeah, Methane, you know, um, finding a, finding the, the band <laughs> name is really, really, really hard, you know. It's the one that's not taken anyway. Um, and I came across Methane, and, you know, it's an explosive gas, and that kind of fit what we were going after, you know, just like an explosive groove. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody cool. else had it, so <laughs> that's cool. But it stuck. Yeah. But nothing's like a dragster. Is that it's a dragster fuel? Right, right. You, you can watch have it in, in nitro gas and that kind of stuff too. Yeah. You you watch drag racing? Uh, not not so much. I mean, we we do have a big drag race here once a year at our oh. at the local airport. Yeah. You know, I live in a little ho donk town here in Sweden. So. You guys got an airport. What's the name of the airport? It's called the Dala Airport. The Dala. The Dala? I think there's like Dala Airport. I think there's like uh, two planes a week that come there. <laughs> <laughs> not that many people travel, sweet, anyway. Oh, not many people here, anyway. I don't know. So, oh, what's your favorite song off the new album? Yeah, the, my favorite song off the new album is definitely uh, uh, The Devil's Own, the title track. No, it's a lot of fun to play, too. Tell me about that song, Devil's Own. Oh, yeah, what's to say? That was, like, the last song that we wrote for the album. We kind of just threw that together. It's probably our most thrashy song, I think. Um, and it's just about, like, selling your soul to the devil to play metal, you know? Yeah. That's cool. So yeah. what, what? what's your thoughts about social media? Uh, Social media? Yeah, I like social media. It, it helps a lot. I mean, if you want to talk about how it works with, with the music industry, it's both you know both good and bad. You know, yeah. you can find there's all way too many bands out there right now, and it's really hard to get it noticed because there's so many bands and so easy to to find new bands. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's also a great great way to network and a great way to to, to find new people and, and make new friends. Like us. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Tell me about the first club you played at. You remember it? The, we were just talking about it. Right, right. The first, our first gig, Methane's first gig was uh, at a wedding. At a at a at a, uh, at a biker <laughs> biker club. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we we wrote it. We actually wrote. We were the wedding band, and we wrote the wedding song that's on our album too. It's called Seventy Two. Nice. Check it out. It's fucking <laughs> crazy song <laughs> for a crazy wedding. What does 72 mean, though? Yeah, 72 is a 69 with three fingers. <laughs> You'll have to read the lyrics. I don't know if there's kids listening. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's adults only. All okay. ages must be accompanied by adults. <laughs> you can swear as much as you fucking want. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, the the groom from the wedding, he came up to us and he said, dudes, can you guys play at my, play at my wedding? I said, yeah, sure, we'll do that. You know, it's like, can you write a song for us? You know, it's called 72. We're like, what What the hell's a 72? He's like, oh, you know, 69 with three fingers in her ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah, it was pretty nasty, but we had to do it. You know? oh, did he pay you good money? <laughs> Next time you do a wedding, make sure you get paid three grand. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have a, you can work out the, the deal for us. <laughs> Next time we play a wedding. Oh shit! Uh, what's your favorite food? My 
my favorite food. Yes. That's, uh, you know, I miss everything from the States. Mm-hmm. Uh, American Italian food mm-hmm. from New York. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's the first thing I do when I come home to the States is I jump off the plane and I go eat for, like, hours. <laughs> I'm going to New York next month. <clears throat> yeah, rub it in. <laughs> Thanks. I haven't been to New York since 1981, since I was one years old. I don't remember New York. Wow. Yeah, I don't remember wow. New York. Crazy, crazy city. Love that place. I, I'm especially going there to see the Trump Tower. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, to go eat dinner inside of it too. All right. All right. Make sure you get some some pizza down on Avenue A there at that race famous pizza. Wh- which street? Avenue A. Avenue Ray's A. Race famous. Okay. Yep. Race pizza. Yep. Uh, Dave, write that down for me. Um, what's your favorite drink? Yeah, I drink a lot of a lot of Jack and Coke. You know, standard rock and roll. Okay, have you ever seen a band Girl School out there? Girl School? Yes. I haven't seen them, but I know they are still they didn't they just do a tour or something? Yes. Or they're gonna, yeah. And they're and yeah. and Jackie Chambers other band, Citeria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How about Venom Incorporated? Have you hung out with the guys yet? Um, they're actually playing a big festival here next summer, so I hope to catch them. Yeah, you better hang out with the guys. I'll tell, I'll, I'll, I'll tell them about you. They're my buddies. I'll tell them about you. They'll, they'll toss you some passes or something like that. I don't know. Awesome, I'll, I'll awesome. get you something from them. Cool, cool. We'll talk about that off air. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, how many times a, pr- a month do you guys practice, or how many times a week? Yeah, we we practice. We try to practice two to three times a week. Keep it, keep it, uh, keep it together. You know, keep it tight. I know there's a lot of bands out there that like practice like once a week or something like that. I've been in a band like that. It just doesn't work. You or end up forgetting the song before for the next practice. Or know? or we get those bands out there that just practice once a month or once every six months, and they expect and they when they go to shows when they play shows live. They totally suck on stage. Sure, sure. I mean, you know, you get out of it what you put into it. You know, we we like to work hard. Oh yeah, the harder you work, the better the music's gonna sound. Sure, it's yeah. a lot of that's what's why we're doing it. You know, you gotta put your adrenaline into it. Right. Put your time. Whatever. Your blood. Your blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> yes, blood, sweat, and tears. Just like, <laughs> just like, just like the military and army and all that shit. Yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. training, you know. Definitely. So, let me ask you. What do you think about the people that are kneeling down for the anthem? What's your thoughts on that? Kneeling down for? The anthem, national anthem that plays. Like the football yeah, players. I, you know what? I, I just I heard something about it. I, I'm trying to find some good streams here for, for the NFL. Um, I'm not real sure what's going on with that over there, you know. They're kneeling. Sweden, so. They're kneeling for the anthem. You're not supposed to kneel. You're supposed okay. to stand and hold your hand across your heart. Right, right. I, there was some Trump protest or something like that, right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. But, I don't know. I don't pay too much attention to American politics. It's out it's here. it's not. Well, but but the, the thing is, not a Trump protest. This is about the sports. Okay. They they're mixing the politics with the sports. You can't do that. Sure. Yeah. Politics I mean, is I, different I don't know. from sports. I'll have to, I'll have to read read on read on the net later when, when oh. I get, get in and watch watching the games. First concert you've been to? First concert I was at was Dio and Dawkins, the Last of Line concert, Last of Line tour in San Francisco. What year? Oh God, what was that? Could that be eighty five, eighty six, something like that? Oh my God! I'll tell you my first concert after the show. Um, yeah. Who drinks the most in the band? Oh, that's 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 a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you, your brother, or the other guys? The next, it depends who's driving first. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're all pretty good at it. <laughs> now, t- quickly, tell me who are the band members of your band? Who do you want to know who they are? Yeah, who, what's the names of the other band members? Right, right. Yeah, we got Dylan. That's my little brother. He plays guitar. And then we have uh, Jimmy Masterbow, who plays lead guitar. Mm-hmm. 
really, really awesome shredder of a guitar player. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just got a new drummer now, Ole Ekman. He w he's been a singer for a long time. He plays drums also, but he's, he's sung for a band called Beale's Death. And he sung for uh, Amarante on tour out in the States. And now he's sitting back behind the kit for us. Okay, he, he, sing, he used to sing he used to sing for a band called Deal's Death, but we got a band in California called Death Dealer. Uh -huh. Sean Peck. Uh -huh. Sean, See, Peck that's, Sean Peck's a singer. Yeah, that's, a, that's the whole thing with band names, right? It's hard to find a good one. And Ross, nobody else has. And Ross the Boss is in a band, I think. Right. You know Ross the Boss from Manor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. He's been on my show two times. Cool. He's a cool, cool guy. He's a friend of mine, too. Really good friend. Yeah, nice. Yeah. We always talk, me and him. Um, so, huh? What, what about 2014? Oh, yeah, well, tell me about the 2014 tour. Our 2014 tour, yeah. yeah well, the that's whole year, right? The States. The whole year, right? Yeah, we, it was right after we released uh, our first EP, then, uh, and 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 the video. I guess that was the Hang Me High video. Um, and we we, oh, we did a bunch of touring here in in uh, Scandinavia, and then we got to go over and play in uh, New York City, a, a big festival with Whiplash and Blood Feast, and uh, who else was there? Hobbs Angel and Death. It was a really awesome, awesome festival put on out there, and yeah, played some other shows in the states too, in our hometown in New, in New Jersey and out in Pennsylvania. And, yeah, uh, it was killer. You played yeah. with Hobbs, Angel of Death. Yeah, we played with Hobbs. With Blash, Blood Feast. Oh my God, those are my friends too. <laughs> yeah, right, they're my yeah. good friends too. Those guys are really fucking cool. Yeah, I know. I, I'm friends with with, with Tony from Whiplash. <sighs> known him from when I lived in Jersey and then the same with the Blood Feast guys. Every... I, just, I, was actually, I was just actually out down in Germany and, and hung out with Blood Feast when they played uh, Headbangers Open Air down there. Hell yeah. Every time yeah. every time they come out here in Chicago, Wisconsin, we're always hanging out with them. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, we go and eat. Great guys, great guys. Oh yeah, they're good guys. Oh yeah. Um, oh my god, Peter Hobbs is so crazy. I love him. <laughs> I love I love this microphone too. <laughs> He's a nut. Yeah, he told me. He told me when he was trying to come in for that one one show that they wouldn't let him bring in his upside down cross microphone. <laughs> so he had to leave that microphone behind. and He had to find another one. He buy buy another one in the states. <clears throat> oh, that's stupid. <laughs> well, what do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? Uh, the fucking U.S. customs. I remember when I flew. Really? I remember. Okay, listen. March 15, 2014. I flew out to with a friend of mine. We flew out to we flew out from Wisconsin to Philadelphia. So when we got into Philadelphia, I had a bullet belt with me. Okay, it was in my suitcase. They took it out of my okay. suitcase, confiscated it, and they made me strip naked down to my bra and underwear. Oh my god! I was standing there for forty five fucking minutes, embarrassed off my ass. That's what you get for being a metalhead. And then and then then uh, then the manager supervisor came. He said, "What the fuck are you guys doing to this girl?" Get addressed, and then he he fired the two guys right there. That's crazy. Fucking U.S. Customs, fucking security, TSA security <laughs> at the airport. Yeah, the, the airport security. Yep. So tell me, hey, still there? Yeah. I can't hear you. Hello. I can't hear you. Hello. Get close to your phone. Tim, right? Hear me now? I can hear you a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, now I can hear you. All right, all right. Okay, what CD is in, you know? what CDs in your car right now? My CD is in my car, right? I guess right now. Uh, yeah, I'm listening to the new Creator and the New Testament a lot. Love that New Testament album. Oh, yeah, Testament's good. <laughs> Great album. Oh, yeah. So, tell me in the next five, ten years, where do you see your band at? Yeah, you know, I mean, who knows? <laughs> right now, you know, we have some goals set for ourselves, and that's just like uh, recording a new album, touring around for the for this one. Um, then we'll release the next album, probably a video soon, 
and just throwing it at the wall, see where it, see where it sticks, you know, going with the flow. Uh -huh. we're, just, we're just having fun, you know, and that's what it's about. Dark Star Records released your album, right, Jeffrey Swanson? Right. And you guys right. are managed by Yvonne Loveland. Right, Queen, the Queen Management out there, yeah, yeah, the Queen. in the Midwest. Yep, 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 they're from St. Louis. Yeah. Oh. All right, yeah. Uh, how many music videos do you guys have on YouTube? Two. We have uh, we have the Hang Me High video, and then we have Blood, Sweat, and Beer also that we released a year ago or something, a year and a half ago. Are you guys planning to release more? Yeah, yeah, we're we're talking about a new video now for, for the new album, so it should be coming out soon. Okay, now, what's the biggest, big four bands you wish to tour with? The four biggest bands? Well, you wish to tour with? That I, Testament definitely would be really cool to tour with. Okay, three more. Um, um, yeah, a couple more. I don't know, I'd love to tour with everybody. <laughs> what's your thoughts on Destruction Creator and all the other trash bands out in uh, Europe? Oh, European thrash bands. I mean, I love the the new Creator album. Okay. Um, I have always loved like Destruction and Sodom and, and those 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 old German thrash bands from from the eighties too. They're, I love Sodom. You know. Yeah, they're they're awesome. You know. They're fucking great, <laughs> man. I remember Hell seeing yeah. them. I seen all those guys. Yeah, I would too, unfortunately, they were, they were supposed to play a festival here, and uh, I don't know. What happened? You think Angel, Ripper, Angel Ripper broke his arm or something, I don't know. Oh, man, that sucks. So they had to cancel. So, let me ask you this. How do you guys plan to succeed? What, what When you first started this band, how did you plan to succeed in the band? Yeah, I mean... We work hard, you know, we work hard behind the scenes making making new contacts and new friends and networking and, and actually trying to, to support the to support the metal scene and, and, and lift it, you know, and get people out going to shows, not even our shows, just to shows. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I think that helps us a lot, you know. Back in the back in the nineties it was tape trading. We sent letters to each other and traded traded demo tapes and and you know, printed our own fan scenes up, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Now it's now it's on another another level with the, with yeah. the internet and everything. But you know, it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> you know, helping each other out. Yeah, let, let's let's talk about that song, "Hang Me High." Hmm. Let's talk Hang about me high. yeah. Yeah, um, that was one of the first songs we wrote. Uh, did a video for it. Um. I don't know. There's not so much more to say about it. It's kind of, uh, I don't know. It's one of my favorites on the album, definitely. Has Has any of your songs ever been in any movies? Um, no, we've been on a TV program in Scotland called Metalheads. Really? Um, we were featured on the first E, e novel with music. Nice. Scars and Bars was on that. Um, nice. And a bunch of compilation albums and that kind of stuff. We haven't nice. been in a movie yet. Jeffrey Swanson can <laughs> gonna have to hook us up with that. <laughs> yeah, tell him to hook you up with one of the guys, Damon. Damon. Damien, he makes movies. Right. Tell him to hook you right. up with yeah, his we... friend, Damien. Right. Well, huh? Darkstar, they work a lot with, with horror movies and stuff. Damien like Dante. That, so. The guy's name is Damien Dante. He makes horror movies. Tell him to hook you up with his movies. All right. <laughs> okay, any last words you'd like to say? Yeah, just uh, thanks a lot for, for your time and, and calling me up. And uh, just keep supporting the scene, everybody out there. Stay on the phone. Yeah.
Okay, we're back live. We're back live. I, Tim, again, thank you very much for your time. But what's what's the name of your website called? Your official website. Right, we have a, we have a WordPress. So methane metal on WordPress. You can find us there. Um, you know, and we got Facebook and Twitter and all the, that great stuff. So hit us up and, and like us and share us and really appreciate it. Now, where where can people find your merchandise to buy it? Yeah, our merch, you can find it right through our website. We have a, a merch page um, for t-shirt, t-shirts and that kind of stuff. Um, CDs are, are everywhere, you know. Amazon is probably the easiest place to find them. Okay. Well, now, what's the, now, how many t-shirt designs do you have? Oh, we got tons. <laughs> tons of them. And what kind oh, of? We got a different, different tour shirts and, and, and album covers and, and crazy shit. And what kind of merchandise do you have available for people to buy? Yeah, I mean, it's t-shirts, hoodies, uh, tank tops, you know. I want a tank top. Whatever you want, whatever you need. I want the tank top. All right. Have you guys made patches? I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you a link, and you can you can check through it. How, have Have you guys made patches yet? Mm hmm. We have patches. I mean, those we usually only have at at the shows. You know, they're yeah, not that's, they're that's not cool. on the on the, the t shirts shop. No. But uh, I can get those out to you too. Oh, that's and Anybody cool. else wants them? They can they can contact us like through Facebook or wherever. Remember www.facebook.com forward slash methane band. Band. Yes, methane band, M E T. Exactly. It's like the it's like the drug mess, but they add but they add the <laughs> Anne and E. You know the the name Anne, but not double N, but add E at the end. Exactly. Huh? Can exactly can, can people purchase through Dark Star Records too? Uh, they can. Uh, they can go into the Dark Star and grab grab our CD. Definitely, they've, they've got that. But uh, our merch is. Our merch, we have it. That's cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you have any jokes you want to end the show with? A joke? No, I don't have any jokes. <laughs> but what about the gork gork? <laughs> bork bork. You want me to speak Swedish again? <laughs> bork bork. Bork bork. Bork bork. Bork bork. Bork bork. Bork bork. How do you say it? How do you say the word? Bork Bork, that's the Swedish chef, isn't it? Bork Bork. Ernie, Ernie, Bork Bork, make it a spring the chicken. Yeah, Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You know you know that new bear that they came out with, like Five Finger Death Bear or something? Right. <laughs> okay, I was walking by it yes, a couple days ago in my sister's bedroom, and I saw it, I swear to God, it looked like Fozzie the Bear from the Muppets. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is Fozzie Bear doing sitting here? Fozzie. Fozzie rules. <laughs> Hell yeah, he ruled. Also, did Miss Piggy and Kermit. And those, oh, yeah. And those twins. What are they called? What are their names? You know, I really liked twins. I don't know. That's, who I really liked were the, were the two old men that just sat there and, like, hated everybody. <laughs> w weren't, they, weren't they, like, nicknamed something? They, weren't they nicknamed something? You know, I don't remember. Like the Einstein <laughs> brothers or something? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I, got, I gotta go watch the Muffins movie now. <laughs> totally, totally. Just like, get those fuckers' names. <laughs> Muppet Marathon, let's go. Yeah, Muppet Marathon. <laughs> well, Tim, it was nice speaking to you. Have a good day, my friend. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks again. Uh, say hi to Dave for me. He's right here. Dave. All right. Hey, Tim, thanks for doing the interview. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks a lot for setting everything up. And I'll be talking to you guys. Stay metal. Yes, you too. Bye. Right, right on. Bye. Bye. <laughs>